There we go. Unload it right here. So we switched trucks. We're now in the 379. Park there for now. We're gonna park her up right there again. We'll see you later, cows. Thanks for uh, tuning in again. What's going on everybody welcome back to another video so before we get the drive in here we got to replace the starter actually just install the new one I took the old one out because that one gave out on me so started clicking and then it started for me to get me home and everything but I figured we better replace it so that's the old one that one's bad and here we got the new one ready to install so it's a little bit of a pain to get it under there or to get it in there but I think we can do it by ourselves so everything's working good everything went well and we got the new starter and we also got some new steer tires Got the Firestone FS591 on there. And uh, those should do pretty well. The ones we had on before didn't last real long and they were starting to wear on even and the tread was not looking well. I knew they're not gonna pass much longer because of flat spots. I'll show you guys how the Amish harvest corn. You got the old binder and then you just throw it on the wagon. Old guy there picking up the cobs that are falling off. And then they just take it into the silo and uh, throw it in the harvester. Pretty old fashioned, but hey, it works. A lot of labor. That never hurt anyone either. So that's how the Amish do it, but yeah, I'd like to get, you know, more uh, close up footage sometime of how they do their harvesting, but I don't like to stick the camera in their face, so, you know, we'll just video as we go by like that, but yeah, it'd be fun going in there, and they probably wouldn't care, I don't know. I live near these guys, and I mean, not that they know me or anything, but they probably wouldn't care if I would, you know, sit there and film them for a while, but, you know, I know they don't prefer it, so, anyway, we're gonna, um, be doing a equipment run tomorrow morning, and then we're gonna be doing a load of lumber to the Seven Valleys, and then we are gonna come back and reload precast and then that goes to New York on Wednesday so we're almost home here we got a birthday party to go to this evening and uh, yeah get up tomorrow morning and haul some equipment first thing so stay tuned guys well we made it home and these my tea products sent me these in the mail so 20 uh, edge protectors like the four inch by ten inch so we'll try those out these have good reviews but we're gonna try these out maybe when we haul the precast see how they work horrible they are yeah. hey what's going on what's hiding to a blanket is he hiding from me all right let me show you a blanket okay he's hiding. we'll see you in the morning guys Good morning guys, we got the beautiful sunflower field there. And 
uh, we're heading to Mechanicsburg this morning to pick up a telehandler. So that shouldn't take real long. That's coming back to Leola, somewhere in the area of Burton Hand. And then we're going to need to uh, grab the flatbed and go load some lumber, and then that goes down to the Seven Valleys. So uh, after that, we'll be loading up the precast for tomorrow, which, uh, like I said, is going up to Cornell, New York. So uh, should be a fun day. It's going to be, I think it's going to clear up yet. It's pretty, pretty foggy this morning and a little dreary, but I think it's supposed to clear up. It's a little cloudy here west of us, but calling for some uh, pretty nice weather this week. It's supposed to go down in the 70s and the 50s at night, so I think the hot weather is probably past us. It sure was a hot one last week, but it's going to feel nice. we got the fall weather moving in, so gonna be fun. doing a lot of developing in these areas here some of these areas around Harrisburg putting in these new houses which people need housing too I guess <laughs> nice barn down there good morning oh scared the dog she didn't wave at me either <laughs> all right let's see if we can find this machine here that's what we got to pick up right there. So it looks like they got a circle up ahead here. We'll go around the circle and come back. Fancy house is in here. I 
think I can make this circle without making too much of a mess. At least they made a decent circle that we can get around. A lot of these developments that I get into, they put like real curbs there and then you can't you know, hop them or you'll mess your wheels and tires up. But we can make this one pretty nice. two straps across the platform and then chains at the four tie down points on the lift and we're good to go. There we go, all loaded up. We 
got some Amish harvesting some silage. Now they're using a harvester there, not using the old binder. Hang on there, young kid, and hold them horses back. So it's a, it's a little strange for some people to understand, and I get it. It's a little hard to understand because the Amish have, you know, they got different districts and things like that, and there's certain districts that allow harvesters like that, you know, the old two-row harvesters, and then there's some districts that, you know, you would never get away with that, so <laughs> it's a little weird. And then there's some guys that just do it anyway, <laughs> so... Eh, it's a little hard for some people to understand, which I get it, but that's kind of how it works. The different districts, there can be an area where, you know, this guy's using a harvester, and actually right up ahead here we got a wagon where they're throwing the corn on, right up ahead of us here. So this is like, you'd think this was the same church district, but people are doing it different, so yeah, it's definitely interesting. Just go out around him here. They're just picking up the corn around the outside. So they're just opening up the field. So maybe they do use a harvester there. They just open up the field so that the horses, you know, you can't really back up if you have a team of horses, six horses and a harvester and a wagon. So they like open up the corners. That way they can just swing around. This is, this is actually our neighborhood right here. We just live up that way. Just live about a mile that way, three-quarter mile. So we switched trucks. We're now in the 379. Heading over to the lumber yard to get loaded up. And then, like I said, that's heading to the Seven Valleys of Pennsylvania. It's what's called the Seven Valleys. And then we're going to come back and then we'll uh, get the precast loaded. Up ahead here, we got some Amish harvesting. The old corn binder out. So he's getting it loaded back there. I'm gonna hop out and start strapping here in a minute. As soon as he has some bundles here on the front. And they have donage underneath all their packs. So that makes it easier for everyone, you know. Don't have to put four by fours or anything there. The other thing is they got small donage, so sometimes when you have thick forks on a uh, telehandler or something, it can make it a little hard. But uh, they don't mess around here, they load fast, so it shouldn't be long. Looks like DOT's working down here. Actually, maybe not, it's just an accident. They like to pull people over here, but it looks like just an accident or something. We are probably a little heavy this load. They, it was everything but one pack, and they were like, what are we gonna do, leave one pack off, or? You know, what are we gonna do here? So I just put it on, but I might be just just a hair overweight, I don't know. Not ideal, not ideal.
park there for now. I was talking to the neighbor. He's telling me I gotta come up in here. So, we'll see how it looks. He said it's tight up here. <laughs> he just told me good luck getting in and out, but I think I can back in here. It's not terrible. I mean, I can swing over here. It's, you know, not real wet, so yeah, I can get up in here. Looks like there's people here working. It's pretty cool up in there. He's got himself a nice spot up there, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a little tight, but I think we can make it. He said no other trucks could make it in here, so that makes, that makes me want to try it. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. But I couldn't get in there. I mean, there was a little bit of a swale there, which when I dropped the air in the rear airbags, it didn't allow it to. It's kind of an incline, so it didn't allow my trailer to swing around. Otherwise, I know I could have got in there, but I couldn't go in the ditch much because there was a bank there, so. So I'm loaded on the street and drag it all up here. Okay, not too bad. It did take about an hour because we had to drag everything, you know, up the hill there and all the way back in. But uh, everything worked out, so, you know, it's all good. See if we can find our way out of here. We had the neighbor lady there. She was uh, brought her chair up and <laughs> was watching. So she she said uh, she never seen anyone handle a truck like that. I said, well, I didn't make it in the driveway. You know, I didn't make it. But apparently there was a truck that was a lot shorter that couldn't get up in there or something. I, I was missing it by about two feet, but the back end just didn't come around and I was against the bank here and I couldn't go over any further because of a, uh, uh, I don't know, something with his water. There was a cap sticking out of the ground, so I really couldn't do anything else but unload on the road. But uh, let's go back and uh, get this precast loaded and go home. That is a beautiful farm right there. Tell you what, really nice. This is uh, some nice countryside here. This would be your county, I guess. I think so. I think Seven Valleys is your county. But it's beautiful here. So we made it over here to the truck stop. 
close to my house here. We're going to park her up right there again and head out. That wall is a little high. <laughs> it looks really high for sure, but anyway, we'll be heading out around... I didn't look for sure. 1.30 or 2, I think. I need to ask them what time they want me to leave or be there. Probably 6. So we will see y'all in the morning. Actually, there's a TMC truck here waiting too, so might be a little bit till we get unloaded. But you know, it is what it is. The party on the farm. We got actually nine trucks here right now, so that's a little full. But they're just getting started over there, and then we can. Yeah, we'll have to wait a while, but it's all good. Yeah. them like that back up to it huh messy here man got water all over the place but it is a beautiful morning so jerry's coming out through then we'll go around the back there well they want my load next so we're gonna wait till 
they got these on loaded then they're going to move the crane back and we can back on in here Looks like somebody brought a load up yesterday or sometime this week. It smells pretty bad like silage juice around here. Guess they harvested a bunch of silage already. TMC, you got a copy there? Can you back up a little more? Thank you, appreciate it. they're gonna park the crane right there so we'll wait till he's unloaded and we'll squeak by Alongside the crane here on an angle. It's pretty close. <laughs> Alright, where are you at, Andy? Where do you want me? I'll wait till he comes here and tells me. See you later, cows. Feed over there. They got a nice sunrise in the mirror.